All right, folks, we got a new swim bait in town. Mixture, Bone Baits Junior, two inch. This guy here is from Jackson, and you guys get this at Bait Finesse Empires. These swim baits are basically saltwater swim baits, you know, all the colors based uh, for, uh, you know, inshore fishing. But some of these colors you can use for fresh water as well. Uh, pretty much all of them, I guess. And we're gonna see if we catch some open water spring crappies. I got rigged up on a 132nd ounce jig head. Uh, that's from Euro Tackle Soft Lock Tungsten, and it's a size six hook. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna take the swim bait and swim it where I see fish on my side structure scan, slow roll it, and uh, hopefully we catch some fish. I have my Dragon C602 Ultralight plus my new Daiwa Pixie BF70. And I should have cast that way because I see a lot of fish on that side. But let's see. Oh, wait, wait. there's a lot of fish this side too. So let's give it a shot right around this area. Yeah, it's very lethargic today. So I was using a 1 16th ounce jig head earlier. Oh, there, oh yeah, that was a fish right there. But yeah, I was using a 1 16th ounce jig earlier and I was swimming pretty fast covering water and it seems like they didn't really want it. Then I swapped to hover strolling and when I'm hover strolling, you go a lot slower, okay? I was using a 132nd ounce to hover rig from Core Tackle and I was able to get into these pods and fish them. Oh, there's a fish right there. Here we go. Oh, it came off. What's going on? Paper mouth, man. Paper mouth, but oh, I'm going to the right now. See all that fish right there on my fish finder? See that? Oh, left, there. there's a huge pod too. No wonder when I cast it there, something hit. But yeah. This smaller swim bait and a slower jig fall, slower slow roll, should be the key of catching some bites. But yeah, it's been pretty tough today. Pretty tough. We have a cold front here. It was like 40 degrees this morning. And right now, I'm just trying to get those active fish to bite. It's two o'clock, so it got warmer. It's close to like 62 degrees right now. Huge jump. The spring temperature is huge jump. So you gotta finesse some of these fish to bite. That's fish. There we go. Yeah, these tiny little baits definitely get them a lot easier. And wow, white perch. Oh yeah, spring bite is on. I guess I could catch a lot of these if I go like inshore estuary type of waters, right? Like uh, tidal waters. All right, off you go. Let's catch some more. Dude, there's a huge pot right there. Cast out there, you can pendulate it back, lift and drop, slowly retrieve. I'm basically lifting and dropping. Oh, that's a fish right there. Got him. Oh, yeah. He's crappy, wants it. Mm hmm. You gotta get this guy in. Oh, sling it out. What happened to you? All right, off you go. Feel better. All right, I'm gonna cast over there. Yay! Slow rolling time. Makes it a lot easier. If you're like jiggling, um, Pendulating, sometimes they nip it and they let go. But when you swim it fast and they actually get hit it, well, they got to slam it. So I think um, going smaller was the key and also going lighter. So let me just poke this guy out, show you all this fish. There you go. Off you go. Oh, it was a fish. <laughs> I was about to um, hit the motor and all of a sudden there was a fish right next to the kayak. Oh, that's a fish right there. Okay, okay. Man, these crappies are loving me today. Give me some love in the afternoon. I guess when it warms up uh, the air temp, so does the water and uh, they're active again. That's what's up. That is what's up.
That's a fish. Oh yeah. Is that a white perch? Oh man. Yeah, I definitely, definitely want to bring some of these inshore fishing. Try to catch some uh, perch. Maybe I, I could live line for like a big striped bass or something. Woot woot. All right, seems like there's a huge pot of fish right here. So we're just gonna keep fishing it. As the wind blows, cast out there, let's sink slowly and slow roll. Once it gets down to like maybe half the water column, you can slow roll it and you catch all these white perch. It's definitely, definitely a good white perch lure. There we go. Oh yeah. Fish. Oh yeah. Wow. White perch day. White perch day. Cool. Let's throw them back, re-rig, and keep fishing. I went from the crappy zone into the, the perch zone. And uh, now we got bluegill. Multi species. Multi species, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, let me see. You need to unhook them tool. That thing is banging. There we go. In and out. Let's go, go. What the heck? It went all the way from behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that a big fish? Oh my gosh. Spring blue gills with small wind bait. Let's go, look at that. Let's get this guy out. But man, this lure is multi-species. Can I even get them out? There we go. And then twist. Come on. No. Man, look at that guy. Woo. Nice. Fish. Crappies. All right, so seems like more of the middle of the lake. I get crappies and then closer to, let's say, uh, the contours. I am catching these crappies. Uh, hold up. Come on. Here we go. Look at that. 